So the predator arm came about in somewhat of a convoluted way. But basically, there was some interest, uh, you know, a year and a half ago or so from, from people in the art world. And I've always, you know, SRL has always operated on the periphery of the art world. We've done all sorts of shows, but we've never been in the museums, really, or in the galleries. It just hasn't happened. You know, I never really was very interested in it. Part of the reason I did SRL in the first place, or started it, was because of my uh, annoyance and frustration with some of the things I encountered when I started to get involved in the art world right after I left college. And so I just kept on kept on going, kept on moving, and didn't think about it, but then these people that run the Marlboro Gallery in New York City, which is a fancy gallery in New York City, and they obviously know a lot more about art than I ever did, you know. They thought maybe it would be a great idea to have an SRL show and actually try to sell, maybe sell some art or something like that. And I was like, you know, I got a bunch of crap. <laughs> Those things don't go away. I'm spending thousands of dollars a month to store them, basically, the ones that I'm not using every day. And so why not get rid of a couple of them, you know? And so lo and behold, uh, in the beginning of this year, we did a show at the Marlboro Gallery in New York City. And, uh, you know, we had a great, some of the people who worked on it. You saw some of the video in Marion's film of when, uh, and to answer the question of the movie, Yes, it could have been a fucking, it could have been colder. <laughs> that would have been worse. It was 20 below with the windshield factor out there on the street running those machines. But uh, anyway, so that was, but, but, you know, for instance, the robots inside were made by Kimrick. You know, so we did, we did a show at the opening. We did a show at the opening and demoed things like the pitching machine inside the gallery shooting boards up 200 miles an hour and a few other things. And, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. The, yeah, the show was up for five weeks. We had some things moving around a little bit for the five weeks or, you know, minor annoyances. But uh, in the end, nobody actually bought a machine. Oh. Nobody actually bought a machine. But you know what? I never really thought anybody would either. But as luck would have it, or maybe not, uh, a CEO from a big, very large tech company, I'm not going to tell you who, a CEO expressed a lot of interest in the show. So he wanted to come to the shop and look around and was interested in, in a commission, which is, you know, basically he wanted me to do some work for him. He wanted work, right? And I was like, why well, just buy one that's made? But no, he had to, he had to have something special. So uh, he said, I want to come to the shop, and do you, have, do you have any ideas? And I was like, okay, you know. And I sat down, and you know, I, you know, I, I tried to kind of, I spend way too much time reading the news. I try to be aware of like things that are like, you know, fears and uh, suppositions that people have that are kind of floating around in the, in the zeitgeist, or whatever you want to call it. And one of those things that have already always interested me is the, I just this idea of machines hunting people and killing them. It just seems like, I mean, to me, it's like, I do it every day, so everybody doesn't, everyone acts so scared about it, you know? Like, it's this big, terrible taboo, and I was like, you know, that's just kind of interesting to me, you know? There's too many people, and there's not enough machines, so. <laughs> you know, I mean, how else are you gonna get rid of so this many people unless you use machines anyway, right? It's just mass deconstruction. So, you know, that's an idea I've always thought about. But then, but then, you know, I was, I was, uh, you know, it was a, I had a day or two to prepare and I was like, shit, you know. So I started, you know, thinking about it and, you know, there was, of course, you know, this is a concept drawing, but, you know, I saw this video about a month earlier and it's really stupid. <laughs> but I'm going to show it to you anyway. It's really dumb. <laughs> So, <laughs> so basically, that, that idea, 